Our bikepacking trip started with us picking up our rental bikes at Maria Incoming, which is a short ride from the main port area. A handy location considering that we were coming back via ferry from Sicily. The bike shop was very helpful and seemed proud of that their bikes were being used for a long ride. They lent us tools and spare inner tubes for free and I would recommend them if you are doing a cycling trip in Naples. They rent out a range of bikes including road, mountain and e-bikes plus a range of cycling tools. Mark's bike was set up with a traditional panny system whereas mine was using a more aerodynamic bike packing arrangement. His was larger but the weights were similar. We both carried tents, sleeping bags, electronic equipment and spare clothes. The first day took us around the bay and east towards Vesuvius. The rest of that ride plus the trip to Pompeii are shown in a different video that is linked above. third largest city in Italy with a population of just under a million. It was founded by Greeks 3,000 years ago. Naples is one of the oldest continuously inhabited urban areas in the world. The city was an important part of the Greek-speaking southern Italy. It played a major role in merging of Greek and Roman society and was a significant cultural centre under the Romans. Naples is the capital of Baroque, which is a form of art and culture that flourished in the early 17th century. It's now a leading centre for classical music and opera. During the latter years of World War II, it sustained severe damage from Allied bombing as they invaded the peninsula. The city underwent extensive reconstruction work after the war, however the historic city remains.
and other historical artistic expressions are considered the mainstay of Italian artwork. However, there's a thriving street art scene as well. This fits well with the expressive nature of Italians through hand gestures and cuisine. Napoli is famous for its crib tradition and even has a road exclusively with crib shops called Via San Gregorio Ameno. There are numerous shops with creative nativity scenes and figurines including of course Jesus and Madonna as well as pizzerias, fruit markets, all household objects, gastronomic delights, exotic animals and even caricatured politicians and football players. I hope you're enjoying this trip around Naples. Please leave comments below about your experiences of trips to Italy. Walking around Naples, there are flags and bunting everywhere with the number three on them or photos of current players plus a lot with Maradona. This celebrates that Napoli Football Club won the Serie A League for the season 2022-23. It's the third time they have won and the first for 33 years. Maradona murals, pictures, flags, etc. are widespread throughout Naples. He played for them from 1984 to 1991. He immersed himself in Neapolitan culture, learned the local dialect and even started a charity to help underprivileged children in the city and became a god of Naples. <laughs> Grazie per aver guardato questo video su Napoli. If you've enjoyed this video, please click the like button and tune in for other videos from this trip, which cover Amalfi, Pompeii and Vesuvius, plus Sicily. The easiest way is to subscribe and hit the bell button.